seemingly out of nowhere, one adored video game has absolutely exploded in popularity, rocketing its way up the charts to become one of the most prevalent games of the modern era. We're talking, of course, about Among Us, the multiplayer PC and mobile game. After years of treading water, Inner Sloth's success story went viral, raking in millions of dollars worldwide thanks to tens of millions of downloads. And it even crashed its own servers in the process. The app's meteoric rise to fame has captured the attention of not only gamers, but also news outlets across the nation. With a simple formula for success, and with an extra boost of attention thanks to the money-loaded Twitch and YouTube streamers, Among Us is now, without a shadow of a doubt, a phenomenon. If you're not one of the hundreds of millions who've given this game a go, here's how it all works. It's relatively simple, actually. Simple and downright addicting, if you ask us. Set on either a spaceship, space station, or planet base, Among Us is a multiplayer party and strategy game for between four and ten people that splits its players into two discrete teams. The crew members and randomly assigned alien imposters disguised as crew members. On the surface, each character is a two-dimensional, short, jelly-bean-looking crewmate. However, if playing with ten, then up to three of the players are, in reality, imposters, whose main aim is to attack and sabotage the unit. The game's premise, much like Werewolf or Mafia, is teamwork and betrayal. For a majority of the players, the crewmates, it's all about teamwork. They're working to complete tasks which prepare their spaceship for blast-off, like solving puzzles or swiping ID cards. And simultaneously, they're attempting to decipher who the devious imposters are. On the other hand, for the imposters, it's all about silent and sneaky betrayal. The imposters aim to take down and eliminate the other players while crucially avoiding getting caught. How can we tell who the imposters are? Well, the best imposters blend in seamlessly, those less discreet tend to act suspicious. If you wander into the electrical bay, for example, and there's a player waiting there with the lights off, that's suspicious. If you see someone violently eliminate another player, well, that's almost certainly an imposter. Players can call emergency meetings to discuss who they think the imposters are and why, and once they've voted off the imposters, the game ends. Sounds awesome, right? The game's parent company, a small indie developer based out of Redmond, Washington called Inner Sloth, hadn't actually seen much major success prior to the meteoric rise of Among Us. They released Dig 2 China in 2015 and, more recently in 2020, released the Henry Stickman Collection. But the reality is clear as day. Their success in becoming a multi-million dollar company came hand in hand with the download revolution of Among Us. Ironically, however, the infamous game barely had any recognition for the better part of two years. It was originally released way back in mid-2018 and it struggled to gain any decent traction. It was slowly building a small yet loyal following for more than two years, but was barely making any decent profit. Still, the developer team persevered with their product, and the fruits of their labor began pouring in all at once. Since September 1st, 2020, Among Us has been cemented in the App Store's top five. It remains not only the top-ranked game, but the top-ranked app, period. As of the start of November, Among Us sits at number one on the App Store, ahead of powerhouse names like Zoom, TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. That's a pretty darn impressive rap sheet. Within just the month of September, mobile app revenue alone reached $8 million, six of which came from iOS and the other two from Android. In the same 30 days, its install rate grew by an astounding 661%, with a whopping 84 million mobile app downloads. Getting dizzy with the numbers yet? While download is free on mobile, it does cost $5 on PC. Steam has tracked that there's been an all-time high of 438,524 concurrent players on PC. At five bucks a pop, their downloads alone net a cool $2 million in revenue. With the total number of downloads, that number easily jumps up to the eight-figure mark, with millions more from the roughly 10% of players who pay for the upgrade to get pets. Check out this tweet from one of the developers. At one point, the game has topped 1.5 million simultaneous online players, with about 1 million on mobile and 500,000 on PC. Here's the kicker. In addition to PC download costs, Among Us also makes money from mobile ads, estimated to be $25,324 per hour. Throw in payments to bypass mobile ads, as well as merchandise sales, and the total revenue estimate sits at a startling $150 million. That, folks, is absolutely insane. 
But how on Earth, or rather how in space, did Among Us manage to become a global phenomenon? The catalyst for its meteoric rise to fame and fortune wasn't just one element, it was a formula. A perfect blend of a number of factors within and outside of Inner Sloth's control. So what are those factors? Well, there's the cost, the accessibility, the ease of play, the cross-play feature, the regular variation, and the social interaction. Let's take a quick dive into each one of those then, shall we? Okay, so first up, the cost. Who doesn't love something when it's free, right? It's free on mobile and a max of five bucks on computer. Meaning that testing the game isn't a hard decision to make, it isn't exactly going to burn a hole in your wallet. It's also accessible. What do we mean by this? You don't need to be a dedicated and highly skilled gamer to join in on the fun. You don't need a whiz-bang high graphics computer, a fancy wireless headset, or a dedicated gaming room like Ninja. As long as you've got 200 megabytes of hard drive space, you're golden. Then there's the cross-play feature. Think of Fortnite. By allowing players on any platform to play with each other, on either mobile or PC, it no longer matters if your friends don't have a dedicated gaming computer or if they only dabble in easy games on their phone. Crossplay made connecting with friends that much easier. The other awesome feature is that no two matches are the same. Since the app is more focused on the players and their personalities rather than the game itself, the game is always fresh and engaging. Why? Because every human has different tactics. So whenever you play with a different set of players, the nature of the game changes. All of these factors were, to a large degree, a conscious decision made by the developers. What they could never have expected, however, was the monumental demand for virtual social interaction. With worldwide lockdowns and social distancing restrictions, Among Us found itself as one of the best ways to safely interact with your friends. Of course, there's one more element that we can't overlook, the fuel on the fire. Yep, YouTube and Twitch streamers. Out of nowhere, Twitch suddenly excelled to over 100,000 people watching Among Us at any given time. Thanks to the multiplayer collaboration opportunity, numerous famous streamers could all join together in one game, resulting in 10 influencers congregating their millions of fans all at once. For Inner Sloth, it was a perfect, totally free, totally unexpected marketing goldmine. Even U.S. representatives Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omer got in on the action, sharing their live gameplay on Twitch. But what was the appeal of just watching? In the words of one reporter from The National, quote, Watching the reactions of people trying to guess who the imposter is and sometimes getting it very wrong, or lying terribly about not being the imposter, is all quite entertaining. End quote. Yep, couldn't agree more. The game's snowballing success paved the way for its Jellybean-style characters to quickly become meme royalty. With so much user-generated content, it only helped propel the game further into the stratosphere. Seriously, these guys are getting so unbelievably popular that they've even sold out of all of their branded merchandise. But there's no need to fret. According to the Inner Sloth Devs Twitter account, there's plenty more unique merch on the horizon. So what's next for this Washington gaming company? Up until recently, the developers actually had plans to release a sequel, Among Us 2. Yet, just like us, the developers couldn't in a million years have predicted their wild run of success. Now with a newfound need to focus on maximizing and improving the original version, they've shelved the idea for a sequel, pooling their resources into something that's already making headlines. That being said, Inner Sloth has hinted that there still might be something to look forward to in the not-too-distant future. They've told their fans to <clears throat> stay tuned, we have lots of other things planned too, we just need to prioritize and organize all our plans. Yep, we are excited. So have you played it yet? Did you love it? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.